are you doing? Oh, hello, Lucy. <laughs> uh, we're learning some new exercises from our guest. This is Cassandra, Lucy. Hello, I'm Lucy. Oh. Oh. A great pleasure to meet you, Lucy. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> I've never seen anyone say hello like that before. Not everyone says hello in the same way, you know. And sometimes that comes as a bit of a shock. <laughs> it suddenly did for my friend Horace the Hare. Sounds like a story. Tell us, Cassandra. <laughs> as you wish. Far away in the east, in the So High Mountains, the sun was shining, and Baba the Panda had set off on his morning walk. Baba was very friendly and always greeted everyone in traditional panda style with a nice big hug. Bow Bow, say hello to Gertie the goat. Hey, cozy. <laughs> Everyone loved Bow Bow, and we all looked forward to his morning hugs. He was a very popular panda. Morning, Bow Bow. Bow Bow give Huggy to Cassandra the Crane. Ah. But there was one creature Bow Bow had not yet got to know properly. Horace the Hare. Horace always seemed too busy to say hello to Bow Bow. <laughs> oh yes, such delicate flowers. Just a thing for my lunch table. Bow Bow give Horace the Hare traditional panda greeting. Huggy! Ah! Oh. Huggy! Where'd he go? So sorry, Bow Bow. Can't stop. Some other time, perhaps. Terrible hubby. Bye! Oh, Horace. Too busy for Bow Bow hug. But the truth was, Horace was not too busy. He was nervous. Horace had never been hugged before. What if Bow Bow's paws crush me? I'd better stay out of his way. But Bow Bow was a very friendly panda and wanted everyone to enjoy his hugs. So he decided to keep a special lookout for Horace. <laughs> Forever, and one day Bow Bow got luckier. Oh, lovely! Greetings, Horace. Ouchie! Horace hurt? Horace need nice, big, soft Bow Bow huggy. What? What? No, no, I'm fine, really, Bow Bow. It, it was nothing. Huggy make it all better for Horace. No! Horace, no want Huggy? Indeed. Horace, no want Huggy. No Huggy? No Huggy. Pandas like hugs. No offence, Baba, but hares don't like hugs. Hare no like hug. Maybe goat no like hug. Maybe crane no like hug. No one like Bow Bow Hug. Bow Bow Hug only Bow Bow. So the next day, Bow Bow did things differently. Good day. <laughs> Time for my favourite bit of the day. <laughs> Morning, Bow Bow. Oh. Greetings, Gertie. Bell, over here, you forgot my hug. 
Ah, here comes my hog. Good morning, Baba. Greetings, Cassandra. Hug time, Baba. Baba, did I say something wrong? Did you see that, Gertie? Yeah, he did the same thing to me. No big cosy hug. Bobo, say greetings. Ah, oh, yes. Good morning, Bobo. Marvelous, marvelous. <laughs> ah, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, why the long faces? It's Bobo. He stopped hugging. Ha! <laughs> yes, isn't that great? It, it isn't. Of Baobao's hogs. You like being hugged? What's there to like? You get this warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Yeah. And it's so cosy. Baobao's hogs are the best bit of my day. Whatever could have made him stop? Oh dear. Horace realised that he had a lot to learn about hogs. So he decided to go and see the wise old cop who lived in Mirror Lake. <coughs> Greetings. Who come seeking advice from Confusers the Wise? It's me, Horace. I've got a problem. Uh, no problem without answer from Confusers. Explain. It's, um, it's, it's like this. I've upset Bow Bow because I don't want to be hugged, but now he won't hug anyone and everyone's fed up. What should I do? Confusers say, if Horace the Hare no want Bow Bow's gift of hug, then he should return it. Oh, great. Very helpful. Uh, thank you, Confusers. Horace had no idea what Confusers meant, but he was determined to make things right for the other animals. Greetings, Horace. I'm sorry I told you to stop hugging, Bow Bow. Bow Bow sorry too. Bow Bow no want to scare Horace. Bow Bow no want to scare no one. Well, the thing is, I've never actually had a hug before. I don't know what hugs are like. Bow Bow think hug nice. <laughs> oh, please don't cry, Bow Bow. I can't bear it. Look, there must be something I can do to cheer you up. If you don't want gift of hug, you should return it. <laughs> there, there, Bow Bow. Ooh, soft and warm. Oh, I'm hugging. Hugging feels good. Huggy? Horace, make hug for Bow Bow? a private hug, or can anyone join in? Bow Bow give traditional panda greeting to everyone. Whoa. Horace had finally found that warm, fuzzy feeling and learned that hugs from friends are nice to give and to receive. I love hugs! Especially just before bedtime, eh, Lucy? Cassandra. Good night, Lucy. Night, night, everyone. Night, night, Lucy. We're the Puffins of Mossy Bay. I'm Thomas. I'm Sharon. I'm Lewis. Uh -huh. Hi, Lucy. Yay! Oh, 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 oh Jamie. Jamie. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Jamie, the littlest Puffin. Hey, Lucy, is it true you live next to the zoo? Yes. 
And is it true that you go to school? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, and that you can ride a, a bicycle? Yes. <laughs> it's all true. <laughs> Told you so. I have a question too. Do you ever suck your thumb? Well, I do sometimes, when I'm really tired. I used to suck this feather all the time, but not anymore. Really? Tell Lucy a story, Jamie. Oh, OK then. It was a beautiful day on Mossy Bay, and Hercule Mustache was having a nap on his favourite rock. Ah, oui. Sound, sea, silence. That's the life for me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Cheeky puffins. <laughs> Where are you going to, Puffin Thomas? I'm not Thomas, I'm Lewis, and I'm gonna play Jumping Waves. See you later, Mr. Mustache. <laughs> Too much noise. Oh, <laughs> come on, Jamie, come on, Lewis, let's jump waves. Oh, here comes a big one. Waves. It's your feather, Jamie. You can't suck a feather and jump waves at the same time. But I like sucking my feather. Well, you're not a baby anymore. That's right, Jamie. Isn't it time you stopped sucking that feather? Well, maybe. But I don't know how to stop. I have an idea. There. Now you can't suck your feather any longer. Sharon tied some seaweed around my beak. Let's play Leap Puffin! Yeah! Woo! Yay! Woohoo! Your turn, Jamie. Hey! Oh! Oh! Jamie! Sorry. I have a better idea. This starfish won't slip off. Let's play. Yeah! The starfish trick Ooh. worked, but it wasn't much fun for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. wasn't much fun for the starfish either. Then it was time for lunch. You can take the starfish off while you eat your lunch, Jamie. Let's play football. Jamie, where's the starfish? Oh, I lost it. Oh, Jamie. You can't be the goalie sucking your feather. You'll just have to stand on the side and watch us play. Afternoon, Puffin Lewis. Hi, Mr. Mustache. I'm not Lewis. Uh, you must be Puffin Thomas then. No, I'm not Thomas either. Puffin Sharon? Not Sharon. I'm Jamie, the littlest puffin, the one who always sucks a feather. Oh, you know, I used to bite my nails like this. <laughs> <clears throat> Enough of that. You don't look that little to me, Puffin Jamie. 
I wonder if you could climb all the way to the top of Mossy Bay. Oh, of course I can. That's easy peasy. I have never been to the top of Mossy Bay. Never? Never. It's not easy for a walrus, you know. I could tell you there, Mr. Mustache. That's not a bad idea at all. And so I helped her kill Mustache. It was a long and difficult climb to the top of Mossy Bay. Come on, Hercule! Uh, whose idea was this anyway? I think it was yours. <laughs> Don't be cheeky! Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it was your idea! You could do it, Hercule. One, two, three! <laughs> I do not like those creatures. Don't spot your nails, Hercule. I'll scare them away. <laughs> Merci. Thank you, Jamie. the top of Mossy Bay Island. The air was clear and you could see for miles and miles and miles. What a beautiful view. Magnifique. Look! There's Thelma the Whale. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Thelma! <laughs> oh, there's Gunner. Haven't you forgotten something, Jamie? Forgotten something? Forgotten? What? My feather? <laughs> Hercule was right. <laughs> I've been so busy helping him climb to the top of Mossy Bay. I'd forgotten all about sucking my feather. Down there on the beach, I can see your puffin friends. Yay! Sharon, Thomas, look! How did Hercule Moustache get up there? I had some help! <laughs> it's Jamie! Hey, Jamie! Have you been shocking your feather? No, I haven't. But Hercule has been biting his nails! <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky puffins. <laughs> Since that day, I have never ever sucked my feather again. Never ever, Jamie? Well, almost never. I only suck my feather when I'm very tired. Like you, Lucy. I'm not tired, really. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Lucy. Good night, Jamie. Sharon and Thomas. Sleep time! Hello, everyone! Hello, Lucy! I've baked you a great big oh, 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 cake! Are you all right, Lucy? Yes, thanks, Boris. I'm OK. But I don't think my cake is. I thought so. It's all broken. There, there. Never mind, Lucy. It was the best cake I'd ever made. Mm. It still tastes yummy. Mm. You're eating my cake? It still tastes good. Try some. It doesn't matter what it looks like, it's what's inside that counts. That reminds me of the story of Isabel the Flamingo. Please tell us, Georgina. 
Isabel the Flamingo was the most stylish creature in the whole of Africa. That's right, girls. Put your beaks up, push your feathers out, and smile. Excelente. Now, standing on one leg. Thank you. No, left leg, Mirabel. And hold. Perfecto. If Isabel used a new word, all the animals in Africa would start to use it too. Perfecto. That's a funny word. What does it mean? It means perfect. The best. Tops. You know, like a muddy watermelon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Colleen, would you be a dear and go and fish over at the other side of the lake? Okay. Oh. Isabel was so cool that everyone copied everything she did. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. Here comes Isabel. You ask her, Zed. I'm so sorry, Zed, but I can't understand a thing you are saying. Sorry. I said it's a lovely day. Perfecto. <sighs> yes, Zed, it is. Well, do you want to ask me something? We're having a party tonight. Watermelon, mogo chips. And, well, we were wondering if you'd like to come. Well, uh, I'm really busy, but, um, oh, yes, I'll come. Yes! yes! She, she said yes! yes! Hi, Pauline. Uh, coming to the party tonight? Well, I, um, well, I've got nothing to wear. Oh, come on, Pauline. We can have a laugh. Oh, all right, then. I'll see you later. Pauline the Pelican wanted to make herself pretty for the party at Water Lily Lake. Hello, Pauline. Annabelle. Mirabelle. I was just getting ready for the party. You are going to the party? With that baggy beak and those dirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> Isabel, I was wondering if you could give me a, a makeover like. Oh. You've got style, you've got grace. Not a feather out of place. I could learn a lot from you. Got style, you're so chic. From your feet up to your beak, I can learn a lot from you. I see what I can do. Yes, I see what I can do. Okay, Pauline, I give you a flamingo makeover. First, we get rid of all the horrible dust and make you nice and pink. Isabel gave Pauline a luxurious pink mud bath. She taught Pauline how to walk elegantly. <laughs> Hello, Pauline. You look nice. It is wonderful to be here. Although, between you and me, all this standing on one leg is really very boring. What are you doing? I'm taking these watermelons to the party. Perfecto. They're a bit heavy. I don't suppose any of you girls could give me a hand. Not, Not us. us. I'll give you a hand. Thanks, Pauline. No problem. Are those flowers for the party, Nelson? Yes, Pauline. They'll look lovely if I can keep them all fresh. I'll get you some more water. Go, Nelson. Now your flowers will look nice and fresh for the party. Thanks, Pauline. That's a real help. 
Um, I think you've got a little bit of mud on your beak. Oh, never mind. It'll soon wash off. Where do you want it? Over there. Thanks so much for helping me, Pauline. Oh, no trouble at all. We'll soon have this lot moved. What a mess. You can't go to a party looking like that. We help you to look pretty, and this is what you do. Oh, it's so annoying. Party time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ready, girls? Feathers fluffy, big, high. <laughs> Great to see you. Come and sit down next to us. <laughs> Why are they all talking to a Pauline? She's clumsy and dirty. She has no manners whatsoever. And we flamingos have such a style. But Pauline is kind and helpful and honest. That's why everyone loves her. Everyone wants to talk to Pauline because she has helped to make the party a success. When the flamingos understood that true beauty comes from within, they realized that they could learn a lot from Pauline. You're so kind and so sweet. You've got such a useful beak. We could learn a lot from you. Many friends that I can learn a lot from too. We could learn a lot from you. We could learn a lot from you. And I could learn a lot from you. Thank you, Georgina. That was a lovely story. And it was a delicious cake. It doesn't matter what something looks like. It's what's inside that counts. And we can all learn a lot from each other. Mm. I'd like to learn the recipe for this yummy cake. Mm. It's got flour and eggs and currants and cherries. And... and we'll have to leave the cooking lesson for another day. It's time for bed. <sighs> Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams, Lucy. Lucy's late. Where is she? Hmm. She should have been here three minutes ago. I can't understand it. Shh. Here she comes now. Uh. What, what the...? the... Uh. Hello, Lucy. Mm, hello. Mm. She's sleepwalking. Careful, Lucy. Oh. <sighs> Uh, <gasps> Ouch! Bloody only hunter something! We mustn't wake Lucy up. Look out! <gasps> oh no! Oh. <laughs> Full jewel. I was only pretending to be sleepwalking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, that's not fair. Lucy's not allowed to play tricks on us. We're the ones who make all the jokes here. That's how we got our names. Giggles. <laughs> and Tickles. <laughs> when we lived in the jungle, we played tricks on all the animals. Listen. One day... We wanted to play a trick on Victor the Crocodile. Psst. Victor? Psst. What's a handsome croc like you doing alone in the river? Did you know that a beautiful crocodilla moved into the mudflats the other day? 
Hi, I'm Victor. Hey, has anybody ever told you you have beautiful eyes? Come on, don't be shy now. You want to get to know Victor better, don't you? Oops, it's just a bit of wood. <laughs> Our next victim was Audrey the ostrich. Audrey was very proud of her big white eggs. She'd spend all day waiting for them to hatch. Hello, Audrey. How's things? Fine, fine. Another hour or so and these two will have hatched. Look, Audrey, you've laid a hairy egg. Oh! So I have. Audrey was so proud of her new egg, she tried to hatch it. But every time she sat down, it tickled so much, she had to stand up again. Just a coconut. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Each day we played bigger and better jokes on our friends. Until one day... What are you doing? There's a surprise on the other side of the rock. We're waiting to see it. Can I wait with you? Of course you can! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm waiting for a surprise on the other side of the rock. Can I wait with you? Of course you can. What are you doing? I'm waiting for a surprise on the other side of the rock. Can I wait with you? Of course you can. Soon there was a queue of animals all the way around the rock. I'm waiting for the surprise behind the rock. Mm hmm? So am I. So, so are we! <laughs> Where's the surprise then? We've been waiting around this rock for hours. The surprise is. We've been playing a trick on you! <laughs> <laughs> Animals had had enough of our tricks, so they thought of a plan. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I, I, I'm laughing. <laughs> laughing at what? At you, of course. <laughs> We've not done anything funny yet. I know. <laughs> What's funny about that? Can't you see? No. Oh dear. You must have lost your laugh. No way. We'd better go and find it. So we went to look for our laugh. Zed, we've lost our laugh. Have you seen it? Laugh? I've seen no laugh. How about you, Toby? Me? I haven't seen anything. <laughs> We've lost our laugh. Have you seen it? Your laugh? Hmm. No, it's not in my nest. Just an old coconut. That's all. <laughs> Victor, Victor, you must help us. Have you seen our laugh? We've lost it. Your laugh? Mm. 
No, it's not in the river. I've only seen an old log today. Oh. <laughs> Maybe our love is behind this rock. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> this gets funnier and funnier. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's not funny at all. You never lost your love. We've been playing a trick on you for a change. But why was Harry laughing so much? Because he's a laughing hyena. <laughs> <laughs> laughing is my job. What kind of laugh would you like? <laughs> mm, a chuckle. <laughs> a chortle. <laughs> you can all join in on this one. The belly laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we all laughed and laughed and laughed. And we've been laughing ever since. They've, They've all gone, gone to sleep. sleep. Shh. We mustn't wake them. <laughs> Fooled you. We were only pretending. It was another joke. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime, Lucy. Good night, Lucy. Sweet dreams. Sure, you're all right, Molly? Yes, it was just a little slip. Let me help you. <clears throat> Someone left a banana skin on the ground. Well, it wasn't me. That's funny, because it certainly wasn't me. Giggles, Tickles, what's going on? It wasn't me, it was Tickles. Don't believe him, Lucy. It was definitely Giggles. That's enough now. I think what we need is a nice story to calm everyone down. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's our friend, Sydney the Seal. Arr, arr. Did I hear someone say they wanted a story? <laughs> <laughs> What's your story about, Sydney? It's all about two special best friends. I like stories about best friends. It's called the story of Snowbutt's new friend. Arr. Snowbutt the polar bear and I would often hang out on the North Pole. What a beautiful cold day. Indeed, Snowbutt, dear friend. Next, we could go for a sail on that iceberg over there. It looks a bit boring. Arr, arr. I'd much rather go on that iceberg over there. Well... Mine would be better. But I think that looks like a very boring iceberg. Arr, arr. And we seals don't like to be bored. Now come along. Hmm. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, I'd rather be on my own if you don't mind. Huh. Mind? Why should I mind? I'd rather be on my own too. Fine. Fine then. Hmm. I'll be going then. Goodbye. Goodbye. It was the first time me and Snowbird had ever fallen out. At first, Snowbird quite enjoyed being on his own. Well, I think this is a beautiful iceberg. <laughs> Just the sound of nature. So much better than Sydney complaining all the time. <sighs> yes, 
This is a very interesting iceberg. You could never be bored on an iceberg like this. But Snowbird was beginning to miss his friend. Then he had a brainwave. <gasps> I don't have to be on my own. <laughs> this will show Sydney. <laughs> I wanted to see what my old friend was up to. It all seemed very mysterious. This is going to be a masterpiece. Hello, Sydney. Uh, uh, oh, hello, Thelma. Where's Snowbird? Snowbird? Snowbird, your best friend. Uh, oh, that's Snowbird. He and I aren't friends anymore. Oh, dear. That's terrible. No, it's not. Uh, I don't miss him one little bit. Uh. You're a real friend. A lot like Sydney. He was always so bossy. Snowbird's new friend was made out of snow. You're cool, Mr. Icy Flipper. Much cooler than Sydney. We agree about everything, don't we? Arr, arr. Yes, Snowbird. Would you like to go for a sledge ride tomorrow? Arr, arr. Of course, Snowbird. You always have such great ideas. Arr. So, early the next morning, Snowbird got out his sledge. <laughs> Here we go, Mr. Icy Flipper. It started to snow. Uh, it's not easy. After a while, Snowbird's sledge got completely stuck in a snowdrift. Sydney would never have agreed to go for a sledge ride in such bad weather. I think we're going to be stuck here for a long time. Thelma! Thelma! Can you help? We're snowed in! Hold on, dears! Perhaps I could shout. Them with warm water from my spout. <gasps> That's great, Thelma. The snow is melting. Thelma was curious to know about Snowbird's new friend. His name is Mr. Icy Flipper. Do you not miss your old friend, Sydney? Who? Uh oh, Sydney, no, not one little bit. Thanks, Thelma. Bye, Snowbird! Has Snowbird got a new friend? Oh, oh. Who is it? Oh, oh. Did he mention me at all? He has a new friend, but I don't think it'll last. Oh, I don't care. Oh. Later that day, Snowbird and his new friend were out exploring together. Oh, this is a very boring iceberg, Mr. Icy Flipper. <laughs> yes, Snowbird, it most certainly is. Do you have to agree with everything I say? Arr, arr. Yes, Snowbird. Now, Sydney, he knew a good iceberg when he saw one. Meanwhile, I was starting to miss Snowbird. Uh. Arr, arr. Snowbird was the best at choosing icebergs. Thelma the whale decided we needed some help. Whoa! What was 
that. Oh. Hey, hey. Thelma hey, sent the two icebergs sailing towards each other. Sydney, look out! Snowbird, I can't stop! Whoa, whoa. Are you all right, Snowbird? Uh. Look out! Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Icy Flipper! Oh, I'm so sorry, Snowbird. I couldn't stop my iceberg in time. Me neither. I can go and look for him if you like. No need. Friends made out of snow are boring. So, they're not as much fun as real friends? No. Nowhere near as much fun. <laughs> Thanks to Thelma the Whale, we were friends once more. Arr, arr. You see, friends sometimes fall out, but the important thing is to make up again. <laughs> Sorry you slipped on our banana skin, Molly. That's all right. That's better, Giggles and Tickles. <laughs> Good night, Lucy. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams.